Nova, Nova, you were just a little girl when I saw you last. How you've grown and how pretty you are. When exactly was your flight launched, Colonel Brent? Oh, Ron, call me Ron. I was launched August 6, 2109, from a site in the Mojave Desert. Mojave Desert? What happened to Cape Kennedy? Cape Kennedy was turned into a space museum at least 60 years before I was born. But if you were launched more than 150 years after us, how did you get here before we did? I guess we made quite a bit of progress in rocket fuels and capsule design in those 150 years. Yes, I guess so. As best I can calculate, I crash-landed here some 15 to 20 years ago. I can't tell exactly, because it's pretty difficult to keep track of time in the desert. After the crash landing, when I came to, I discovered my leg was broken. I was alone and unable to take care of myself. Things got pretty hairy for a while. Then, quite by chance, I was found by a tribe of wanderers who seemed to be straight out of prehistoric times. Well, they were friendly enough and remained with me while I convalesced. That's when I met Nova. She was one of the tribe's children. I taught her to say my name, and she adopted me. After I was well enough to walk, I decided to accompany the tribe to wherever it was they were going. However, during a sandstorm, I became separated from the group and was never able to find them again. So I returned to my ship and made it my headquarters. I've been living alone in the desert ever since. Over the years, I've made many forays into the wilderness, hoping to find the tribe. I had all but given up hope. Well, Ron, on behalf of all of us, welcome back to the human race. Thank you. Thank you all. We'd better be on our way. I still don't know what brought you this way. Where are you leading the tribe? To a place called New Valley. According to this map, it lies about 25 miles south of here. I know the valley. I used to go there to fish. I can lead you there. That's great. Let's get started. Ron, is there anything in the spacecraft you want to take along? Nothing much survived, except me, the spaceship, and its self-destruct mechanism. Self-destruct mechanism, huh? Let's take it along. It just might come in handy someday. Sure thing. It won't take but a few minutes to disengage. Good. That'll give me a chance to fill you in on the one rather unusual aspect of this planet. General Urko. It is the opinion of this council that your military leadership leaves a great deal to be desired. How dare you question my ability? It comes into serious question, General Erko, when you spend a great deal of time publicly preparing to do battle with an enemy you can't even locate. Let the council grant me permission to pursue the humanoid beasts. I give you my oath. I will take proper care of them. Frankly... We have absolutely no reason to place any confidence in your promises. Let me give them chase. I shall hunt down the humanoids and make you eat your words. If your recent performance is any indication, I rather doubt that, General. The blue-eyed beast is leading them away. Who knows when they may return in numbers. Armed, crazed, to infest our cities, threaten our children. You may launch a mission to find out where they have gone. But you will require a mandate from the Council of Elders before you may attack. It's beautiful. This place is everything you had hoped it would be? Now, if we can construct the proper defenses... Perhaps the humanoids can finally find some peace and tranquility. Look at those boulders. The laser drill should be able to cut through them to make building blocks. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Sniveling Dr. Zayas a thing or two. Imagine him doubting my ability. What insolence. The motorized units are ready to move out, sir. Well, 
Why have we delayed? Let's go on the devil. How's it going? Fine. The humanoids are quick to learn. There's still a lot left to be done. Our advanced scouts have picked up the humanoids' trail, sir. Good. Where are they? They seem to be moving through the southern desert. The southern desert? That region hasn't even been explored yet. I wonder where they are headed. We don't know, sir. Why not? Why can't I get a straight answer from anybody? Is there a conspiracy against me? No, sir. When we locate the humanoid beasts, we may have to attack in self-defense. Speed up the convoy. The pueblos are almost complete. All that remains are a few finishing touches. They seem solid enough. Just like the Indians in Arizona and New Mexico once had. Their pueblos lasted for hundreds of years. I wonder if these will be granted as much time. Only the centuries will tell. Faster! Move them faster! Charge! Erko has followed us here. Quick, get everyone inside the pueblos. we have to hope our strategy works. Let's all keep our fingers crossed. <coughs> Retreat! Retreat! Impossible! The humanoid beasts are too stupid to know how to defend themselves. Our grenades just couldn't penetrate the shutters, General. And our ladders aren't long enough to reach the doors of the buildings. Then order the artillery to be brought up. Sir, we didn't bring the howitzers with us. What? You mean we came all this way without the proper weapons? Idiots! You're all idiots! I can't rely on any of you for anything. Here we have the entire tribe of humanoid beasts trapped, and we can't finish them off. You'll all pay dearly for this. What should we do, General? You'll do nothing. From now on, I will do. The army is to return to Ape City. It will be resupplied with every piece of military equipment known to Ape kind. I'll rid this planet of the humanoid plague yet. Our worries aren't over yet. The gorillas are sure to attack again. And this time, they're bound to employ all of their firepower. What can we do? These pueblos will never withstand an artillery barrage. Our only chance is to stop the guerrilla army from entering New Valley. But with artillery firepower behind them, it'll be impossible. Not if we destroy the land bridge. Destroy the land bridge? How? With Ron's spacecraft self-destruct mechanism. We'll use it to blow up the land bridge. Sure. That way, Urko will never be able to roll his heavy guns into the valley. Great idea. Well, what are we waiting for? Did you set the charge, Jeff? It's all set. How about yours? Roger. Let's go. Okay. Nova, you may have the honor of pressing the igniter button. We 
we've beaten the gorillas at their own game. We sure have. They'll never be able to get us now. We still have to get the airplane. There are gorilla soldiers everywhere out there. I know, but it has to be done. The apes are bound to attack again, and soon. Soon. 